Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Myself Bhavesh Patel from Vithalam Consultant. In the earlier videos, I have discussed about atmospheric air and properties of air. In this third video of air psychometry, I will discuss about psychometric chart. So let's start. Psychometric chart is a graphical representation of physical and thermal properties of atmospheric air. If we consider the component piece by piece, the usefulness of the chart will be clear. It is very useful for finding out the properties of the air. Otherwise, we have to do lot of calculations. Psychometric charts are available in various pressures and temperature ranges, but normally drawn at standard atmospheric pressures of 760 mm of Ig equivalent to 1.01325 bar. Boundaries of the psychometric chart are a tribal temperature on the x-axis, specific humidity that is moisture content on the y-axis, while the saturation curve that is 100% RH1 is drawn by plotting the various saturation points corresponding to dryable temperatures. This saturation curve is an upper boundary representing saturated air or 100% moisture holding capacity at various dryable temperatures. Curve looks like this. Dryable temperature is on x-axis while specific humidity that is moisture content is on y-axis. Vertical line represents the tribal temperatures while the wet bulb temperature is an inclined straight line non-uniformly spaced. On saturation curve, obviously dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperatures are same. You can see on saturation curve if wet bulb temperature is 40 degrees Celsius then the dry bulb temperature will also be 40 degrees Celsius or vice versa. While the relative humidity are cow lines follow the saturation curve like 100% RH, 80% RH, 45% RH and 20% RH as shown in the figure. And saturation curve represents 100% RH. Specific humidity or humidity ratio or humidity factor is on y axis. It is horizontal lines that is parallel to x axis and uniformly spaced. Unit of specific humidity is kg of moisture per kg of dry air. While the dew point is also horizontal but non uniformly spaced. The value of the dew point will be on saturation curve. How to find out? We will understand when we go for some example. Specific enthalpy which is nothing but amount of heat in the air. As the name indicates, specific means per kg. So the unit will be either kilojoule per kg of dry air or kilocalorie per kg of dry air. It is also straight inclined lines uniformly spaced like wet bulb temperature. Then specific volume also inclined straight lines and uniformly spaced but little bit different than the specific enthalpy lines. So if I connect all these properties and make a chart, that chart is known as a psychometric chart. Now let's understand how to read this chart with one example. If the dry bulb temperature of air is 30 degrees Celsius and the relative humidity is 60 percentage, then by using the psychometric chart, let's determine other properties of the air like specific humidity, enthalpy, wet bulb temperatures, dew point temperature and specific volume. So first property given as a dry bulb temperature that is 30 degrees Celsius. So this is the 30 degree Celsius vertical line of dBT. Now the point can be anywhere on this vertical line and to look at the point obviously second property is required and the second property of the air given as a RH which is 60 percentage. So if you follow the RH curve of 60 percent, the intersection point is the state of the air which is available. Now from this point we can find out the different properties. So this is the state. 
the first property is the specific humidity as i said specific humidity is on y axis so from this point draw horizontal line parallel to x axis where it intersects the reading on the y axis will be the specific humidity and that is 17 grams per kg of dry air second property is the enthalpy as we know enthalpy is a inclined line so from this point if i draw an inclined line when it intersects the enthalpy line the value of that that is 75 is the enthalpy of the given air that is 75 kilojoule per kg of dry air third property is the wbt wet bulb temperature which is also the incline line and when i draw incline line and touch the intersects the saturation curve the value on the saturation curve on wbt in this case it is 24.8 degree celsius fourth dew point now in order to find out the dew point temperature of the given air from the point travel horizontally towards the saturation curve and when it intersects the saturation curve the temperature either dry bulb temperature or wet bulb temperature whatever the point will be there that temperature is both both will be same dry bulb and wet bulb will be same so that point is the dew point temperature of the given air and in our case it is 23 degrees celsius that means if such air will bring in the contact of any surface having a temperature less than 23 degrees celsius the condensation will start or in other words if i want to reduce the moisture content of the given air by cooling i have to cool this air at least to the tune of 23 degrees celsius and then after the condensation will start if i reduce temperature from 23 to 22 some moisture will condense if i further cool let's say 10 degrees celsius more moisture will be cooled more moisture will be removed then there is a specific volume in order to find out the specific volume as i said it's a inclined line so there is a inclined line passing through this point in our case it is 0.882 meter cube per kg so this is the way you can find out the different properties once we locate the point on the psychometric chart otherwise we have we can find out this all with calculations which is a tedious process then human comfort it is the condition at which most people are likely to feel comfortable most of the time also known as a thermal comfort the range as far as dry bulb temperature is concerned it is 22 to 27 degrees celsius and the rh will be 40 percent to 60 percent in the next video i will take this subject further